The black things that you see, well, that is my beard before I had a shave. So these little pieces of hair growing out of my skin. And then of course I had a shave and then everything looked much smoother right now. And when I put the microscope on my forehead, I saw some sweat coming out. Wow. Okay, so I'll be exploring my body today. Hi, Microbe Hunter here. Look what I got here. Okay, so this is the microscope uh, that I'll be using uh, to explore my skin. Uh, and uh, you can actually also switch it on. You can see that there is, uh, yeah, there are eight LEDs here in front. Um, and uh, then when you point uh, at your skin like this or at whatever object you're interested in then you can see the picture on, on, on the computer screen and what I've done now is, is I've now pointed the microscope to my skin before I had a shave and then uh, this is basically what I saw. Yeah, so that's again uh, my chin here. And if you see on the lower right, maybe you can see that some of the hair, some of the beard looks white, a little difficult to see. Um, and that is because I'm already starting to get gray hair. So I was uh, basically pointing my microscope um, around all of the different places on my face. And I could actually see all of the impurities um, of the skin and the hair growing out. And the hair is not growing straight. Actually, it's uh, growing out at uh, quite an angle. And one of the remarkable things is, is the skin looks a little bit transparent. So you can actually see that the hair, the beard is actually growing a few millimeters into the skin. And yeah, near a little hole here. <laughs> um, so uh, I basically tried all of the different places on my face and discovered that uh, the characteristics um, are quite different uh, from place to place. Well, and then I had a shave and then uh, again, I pointed uh, the microscope um, at my skin and now you can see that it looks quite different. Yeah, okay, so this is after I had a shave and uh, one of the things that kind of surprised me a little bit is, is that uh, the hair now seems to be under the skin. So apparently the razor kind of pulled the hair out before it was actually a, um, cutting it. Um, so this is actually something that I did not uh, quite um, expect. And here as well, you can see that uh, the skin actually covers uh, the hair completely um, and uh, after a day or so yeah it's going to be again long enough uh, for me to have uh, the next uh, shave So another interesting thing that I um, have uh, done here, um, when pointing the microscope at my uh, forehead like this, uh, and I basically I held it there for a couple of minutes, it was not so easy to hold it uh, quietly, uh, but then I could actually see sweat droplets appearing, so that's also quite a fascinating thing. A little bit of uh, time lapse, it was not so easy to hold the camera steady for a long time, but you can see the sweat droplets emerging. And if you look at the reflection on these sweat droplets, you can actually see the small eight LED lights of the microscope arranged in a small circle. Yeah, so I did this several times on several different places of my forehead, head. It's approximately 10 times faster than in real life. And yet at another place, and you can see how the sweat is collecting uh, yeah, in the little grooves of the skin. And of course, uh, I also wanted to observe the hair on my head and also on my chest, yes. Um, and uh, here too, we can see that the hair um, has different thickness and also um, grows at a different angle from beneath the skin. Unfortunately, I was not able to find any lice. Uh, I'm a teacher in school and uh, currently we have, again, like every year, head lice. So I told my colleagues there, please, uh, to give me a sample if uh, they find any head lice in some of the students. I'd like uh, to take one along to put it under the microscope. But here you can see, hmm, no insects here. So, and then I wanted to have a look at some of the beard uh, clippings using my compound microscope. 
Yeah, and then uh, that's basically the the the, the copper with uh, yeah with the beard here, and um, it looks kind of clear. And the reason is is because I I rinsed the beard for um, yeah a few times, so I poured off uh, the supernatant here, and then I added uh, clear, uh, clear water to remove the foam, um, and then I let it stand for a few days uh, so that the beard could settle down, and then I took a sample, put it under the microscope, and then I saw something that really surprised me. I saw ciliates growing in the beard. Well, evidently, I was growing some life in here. Yeah, so this is uh, basically how it looks like. I took uh, with a pipette a small sample um, and I placed the sample, of course, on a microscope slide. Cover glass uh, goes on top and then everything goes directly under the microscope. And uh, as expected, uh, I saw the little pieces of beard floating around here. Um, again, uh, difficult to see a little bit because I've got black hair. But this here, for example, that's a piece of skin. Um, and you can see that there is still a little bit of hair growing out of the skin. I was kind of happy and lucky to find uh, this here. Yeah, so flat, transparent skin with a short piece of hair sticking out. Yeah, and here uh, there is another piece uh, of hair. And then I saw some stuff floating around here. I couldn't believe this. Look carefully. Look, there are little, little animals here. No, these are not animals. These are ciliates, of course. Um, and what in the world are they doing there? I couldn't believe this. I thought it was some kind of a coincidence, but then I checked it at a different place and I found many of them actually. Um, and I was kind of wondering where in the world do they come from? Uh, I cannot imagine that they were actually growing in my face, on my chin. Would not be a very convenient thought, I have to admit. Yeah, and here again, lots of them. Why in the world uh, are they living in there and what are they doing in there? Well, as a matter of fact, I think it is because I let the cup with the beard stand for a few days. So this means they were able to reproduce and multiply in the cup. Yeah, I mean, where in the world do those critters come from? I mean, one possibility is, of course, that they were growing on my skin, in my beard, and somehow when I shaved, I, I put them into the cup, and that's basically where they are. Uh, this is... First of all, that's not a nice thought to have them grow on your beard. And it's also not very likely. Um, chances are pretty good that uh, while I let it stand uh, for a few days, uh, uh, some um, of the ciliates were introduced from the air somehow. Um, and then they started to reproduce because of the skin that's in the cup and all of those uh, yeah, little pieces of beard and, and skin and so on. That served them as a food for them and it's why they were able to reproduce. It's much more likely than um, to have them actually grow on your skin because, well, uh, the soap and all of these things kind of unlikely. In any case, what I want to do now is, is um, I want to also use this microscope now to explore other parts uh, of my body, for example, the eye and so on. I'll make a separate video um, on that. Um, also quite, uh, quite, uh, quite uh, nice uh, to see the blood vessels in the white of your eye. But in any case, that's something uh, where I simply want uh, to uh, ask you, please, uh, yeah, visit later again um, and subscribe to this channel and then you'll be able to see all of the other things that I'm going to look at. Uh, also using this microscope. Yeah, check out also some of the other videos of this channel and uh, yeah, subscribe. Click uh, the bell button so that you receive notification all the time and when I um, upload a new video. I also have an Instagram channel um, where I'm doing a little bit of stereo microscopy. This means um, I'll be putting objects, everyday objects under the stereo microscope and then it's up to you to guess um, what these objects are. In any case, um, I wish you um, all the best, happy microbe hunting as always. See you again next time. Bye-bye.